some mysteries are best left to the unknown. Kind of like that goth chick in high school you secretly had a crush on. A crush you were too embarrassed to act on. Until you happened to bump into her at a party. Finally, you got to spend some time with the object of your teenage fascination. Only to learn all that foreboding dark makeup and hair was just a cover for a boatload of emotional damage. Let's crack these mystery tins open and get a little emotional damage for ourselves. Let's rip some aces. Welcome to the channel, everybody. Puxbox here. If you're new, consider subbing to the channel. If you're returning, hit that thumbs up button, like this video. And if you really love me and just don't know how to express it, consider becoming a channel member and hitting the join button down below. Oh, and don't forget we have a monthly giveaway going on for February. To enter on any February video, just be a sub, like that video, leave a comment, and every video gets you one entry into the giveaway. And another giveaway, we did hit 2K subs last week. I want to thank you guys for that. I will be doing a giveaway in an upcoming video, so stay tuned for that. All right, so let's get to the meat of this video. New mystery tins from MJ Holdings, AKA Walmart, showed up on shelves this week. The tins are the same, the packs, not so much a mystery. They're gonna have four Panini Prism football packs in each one. So basically they're gonna have retail packs, which are about four bucks a pack. These are gonna have four, do the math, that's 16 bucks. So that means this tin is worth $9. These tins are 25 bucks a tin. So not a whole lot of mystery, just like that goth girl in high school. Mystery solved. We probably shouldn't be opening these, but we're going to anyways. So let's start off with the worst quarterback of the bunch, and I'm gonna pick T-Law. I don't think that's particularly controversial. How could it not be? T-Law, T-Law, T-Law. Um, when I got these, they didn't have Allen. Ooh, these are super wrapped. They didn't have uh, Allen there. Although I already have an Allen tin. These are tins are no different than uh, previous tins for 2023. They didn't update them. They look the same. So yeah, we're getting four Prism football packs. And see, that's a retail pack with the green and the yellow. Nothing mysterious here, gentlemen. Um, the tins are cool. Um, you know, you could put your stash in it. Um, it could be a makeshift urn. If you're in a in a jam and you have a dead body to cremate. You can't just dump him in the gutter like grandma's ashes. That's a possibility. So let's see what these four repel, retail packs hold. Now the, the plus side is I didn't open any of the retail and everybody said it was really good, but I didn't open any because I don't live near a Target and I didn't pay the 150 bucks. So that was a whole four card base pack. Sweet. And uh, I will say these are way less exciting than the uh, Excel, AKA Target. Oh my God. One rookie, Anton Harrison. Uh, much less exciting than the Excel Target uh, mystery tins that were released about a month ago, I guess. We do have a green ice, so that's cool. We'd like to get a checkerboard as well. That would be sweet. This could be big. 49ers be a rookie. Give it to me, Bears. No, you're not giving me anything with Darnell Mooney. They're gorgeous, though. But I didn't get to open a, a retail box, and I really should have, and I still might. Though I'm, I'm not gonna lie, I'm kind of retail prismed out. To be, to be perfectly honest. All right, well, this tin is gonna be just like T-Law and kind of a dud. We got a Bijan. Okay. Um, next worst quarterback in the bunch. We're gonna go with Burrow. Oh, this is a, if I'm going by best to worst, this is not terribly difficult to determine with this list of quarterbacks. Ooh, that one almost went flying. These are weirdly wrapped. And I haven't talked about the Super Bowl at all. Um, let me, I first say, you know, my heart goes out to the people of Kansas City after the sh uh, parade incident. It's just awful. Heart, thoughts and prayers, for sure. 
But the Super Bowl overall, um, that for the first uh, three hours, that game kind of stunk. All right, another base pack. A Tanny Hill and a Zach Wilson. Dear, woof, woof. Uh, and then that fourth quarter was pretty darn good. Another base pack. Hended Hooker. This is terrible. But experience won that game, I think, at the end of the day. Uh, just better quarterbacking uh, and better coaching. We do have a silver here. Goff. Akers. Aaron Rodgers. And our silver Rams. Not a Puka. Cooper Cup on the silver. And I think the experience really showed in... The, uh, the overtime coaching. Shanahan kind of blew it. So far, these are total duds. Joey Porter Jr. Woof. All right. We, uh, Rogers or Mahomes, I need you to, to pick it up. We're going with Rogers. Is the second best quarterback of this bunch. But yeah, the... First drive, the 49ers look like they're going to blow the Kansas City out of the water. And then McCaffrey had that fumble, kind of changed the momentum. And it was a all-defensive game after that. And really not a particularly enjoyable game to watch for the first three quarters. I can appreciate a defensive battle, um, but the offensive, the offenses just looked kind of out of sync. And I think the 49ers definitely had a seem to have a conservative game plan. Whoa. Delvin Cook, Jets Uni, Goddard, and a Dolphins Cam Smith rookie. This couldn't be over quick enough. For the record. Alright, we got a green ice insert, it looks like. T. Higgins, Kadarius Tony. Emergent. Tony Pollard on the green ice. Pack number three is going to be an all base pack. Um, this is turning out to be just Murderer's Row. Well, not Murderer's Row. That would be a good thing. All right, silver. It takes one card, though. Patrick Mahomes. Takes one Beast, one Will Levis silver, but not a Javon Curse silver, that's for sure. I need to be a better husband, a better father! This is a bloodbath. <laughs> Alright, Patrick, you, uh, your clutch, I need you to come through. And I guess the other thing we learned from the Super Bowl is... Um, Mahomes is just inevitable now. You know, uh, if he gets the ball, I mean, if we didn't know, now we know we know. If he has the ball with two minutes, he's going to get it done. And I said before the Super Bowl, I, I, as far as taking who I had winning that game, I can't go against Mahomes. I just, it's just hard to do. The guy is just money. All right, come on. Come on, Pack. These are the four worst tins you're ever going to see. Keon White. I see a Texans. Be a, please be a Stroud. Green Ice. Prison Break. Yes! Okay, one card. Dear Lord, baby Jesus. Or as our brothers to the south call you, hey Zeus, we thank you so much for this bountiful harvest of Domino's, KFC, and the always delicious Taco Bell. This will definitely recoup a portion of our money. Beautiful. One card. And that's 2023 football. It takes one card to just... Make your whole box, your whole rip. So we're done here. Mahomes delivers, as always. 
Lions, Brian Branch. Last pack. Last pack, Mahomes. Ooh, finally, one checkerboard. Out of four, one checkerboard. That is not great. Another Mahomes. Do we see a pattern here? Hackers. Not a rookie. Romeo Dobbs on the checkerboard. Okay, that last 10 was pretty darn good. There you have it. Um, I can't recommend these. This is like god awful. Emotional, damn it! Um, if you want to open Prism retail packs, just go buy a box. Um, Walmart sells them for like 150. Go to Target if you can find them. They're like 100 bucks, I think. Do not buy these tins. MJ Holdings tins are just, just terrible. I do want to thank you guys for watching, spending even just a minute of your time with me today. And until next time, peace out. Mm -hmm.